Hello YouTube, got my campfire up, this is my new adventure, no cell phone again, my hammock all set up over there, you can see that, just trying to settle in, got my defensive firearm with me today because there's hogs in the area, nice, nice firearm, made some trails, got my latrine over there, See some little patties over there. Plenty of firewood around here. You see the hammock strung from these two trees right here. You got clothesline up. I'm really, really, really absolutely loving the Alps jet stream foam mountaineering little short lightweight mattress. Got me a trail started going off yonder for hunting. That's a choose. And, and of course there's this beautiful creek that flows all the way down around here. And I walked down the creek about a mile to find this campsite. And then I kind of taped it off so I don't fall over this little cliff. Because there's a cliff right here. It drops about 20 feet. And then I built me a ladder out of some rope and some logs that goes all the way down. So I can get up and down this cliff real easy. All right, now I'm cooking my dinner. I'm just having a very simple sustenance diet dinner. Rice, brown rice to be specific. High in protein, not enough calories. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. Good morning. This is the beginning of day two. My hammock over there, the strap on it, I don't know if you can see. It was holding it um, across so it expands. Actually broke, so I'm gonna have to fix that today. Uh, I'm gonna see about giving me some better food. And yeah, so yeah, it was a really cold one last night. Um, emergency blanket probably saved my life, or from having to get out here and start a fire. I'm um, very happy I brought it. Especially considering not bringing it, but thank well, God it's been it a pretty good day. This is the uh, end of day two. I'm just going to put some of these markers out to mark my trails that I've been blazing. Made me some trails to really catch me some dinner. Almost had a turkey in my sight today. In the last second when I was zooming in to get a good shot, flew off, never saw it again, went to the woods. The turkey would have been good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This ain't exactly the nice terrain, but I fucking had to blaze this trail today. Trying to make it back to the main road. It's about half a mile from here. None of these were here before. Sell the fresh cut pretty quick with that parang. Recommend you get one of them cold steel ones. Mm-hmm. Gurkha Cooker all the way. Don't waste your money getting all the, uh, the expensive stainless steel version. It's just cheap. Stainless steel, in my experience, not good at all. Keep your blade clean. Keep it sharp. You do what I do. Getting down to where I need to put a marker up here. I already got one. Man, I didn't eat much. This morning I had that oatmeal, some honey. Make sure ain't no snake over here. Good tip. It's uh, made for snakes. Hit something really hard and if you're loud in the woods you'll never see a snake I've heard them run away I ain't never seen one today and that's good because snakes a little rubbery for my taste also I had a squirrel in my sights once again zoomed in get a nice shot this little bugger ran off it saw me so 
far as trying to catch your own food goes, good luck. There ain't nothing here. Need a walking stick. This one's got a little spear point on the end. It's also my digging stick. Didn't carry a shovel, it's too heavy. Gotta get that. Alright now. Get this camera up here. Gonna take me a little piece of string side management marker. Put it on there. Don't want to get lost out here. And then carry on. Damn it, I lost my stick. Oh, here it is. Here's another spot where snakes like to be. All up in this shit. Just go ahead and hit it. You can't quit it all the other way. Nothing but Gurkha Kikri, but you can get most of it. You can even chop through stuff like this. The two swings. That's talent. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put a marker on here. I don't have much of that stuff left. Hopefully it's enough to get the job done. And this is where I stopped for the day. I ain't figured out exactly what I'm going to do yet. That's why I stopped. I know I'm on real close to that sandbar. And there's another ATV trail we're trying to connect up to. Can I hide it like? I'm just going to put the last one right there. All right, now, that thick right there, I'm trying to get to. If we come over here, I think we can see the sandbar. There's one more sandbar after that. And woo! I mean, yeah. Get unconnected up to the main trail. Well, I can't exactly see it right now. But that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, out here, sending the day two. And I'm spending some time out here, so I brought a whole bucket full of MREs with me. I've got one for each night. And a little useful tip for these MREs is eat them right before you go to bed. Just eat your rations or rice or whatever you brought with you during the day. But these puckies, these things have 3,000 calories in them. All right. Eat them before you go to bed. It's gonna get cold. It's gonna get cold tonight. I know I'm gonna have to put on some more clothes. Like seriously, fucking cold. So, I mean, don't have damn cold. So I'm gonna I gobble all this down. And the only thing I'm undergeared on is I definitely did not bring the right sleeping bag. I was not expecting it to be this chilled. I've done what I can. So. See you in the morning. I found this bottle full of water. I wanted to sing. So I won't be 
starving today. I'm oh, such a chef. Put water in the bag. Looks like I overfilled it. Oh well. And then I put the MRE. I fold it over. And I shove the MRE. into the carton because I won't be starving today. It sucks to be starving and then you lean it against a rock or something and wait. That is all. You wait approximately 10 minutes. Buy a stopwatch. $10. Walmart. Lightweight. Gotta go chase a squirrel now. I'm still hungry. Bye. Got my fire going tonight, and tonight I am having a cup of hot cocoa. Got a little piece of bark in there, but that's okay. I'm gonna boil it anyway, so it's gonna kill all the germs. You can see my camp over there. It's not dark outside. It's all for now. All right. Um, I'm gonna show you how you can use an all aluminum canteen. And um, what the advantages are of an aluminum canteen, of a regular canteen, is that an aluminum canteen can be put right up next to the fire. And this is good for me because it's about to be time for bed because it's going to get cold and nobody wants to be moving around this cold, but nobody wants to be cold either. So what I'm going to do to stay warm is I am going, I've heated up this water for 10 minutes to boiling. I'm going to put on these thick gloves I brought with me. I'm going to take this canteen, I'm going to screw it shut, really good, make sure I don't burn myself because it is really hot, like it is boiling, make sure I didn't ruin it, alright, everything's good, in the hood, but anyways, all this fits together, and yeah, you have yourself a nice system. This is an insulated cup, canteen, goes right in here, this folds down, this goes on the top, oh it's fucking hot right here, got it just fast. Just want to show you what the canteen looks like when you close it up, I mean it is really hot right now, I'm having to fold the gloves. I bought the canteen stove separate, it works great, just snaps right on, in this case with this insulated cup right here, it's got an insulation in it, don't put this one in the fire because you'll melt the insulation and ruin it. This works great right here. You see? I put a high temp engine pan on it so maybe it'll last a little bit longer. But yeah. But know what I'm going to do? So at 4 or 5 o'clock right now it's 2100. I'm going to put it about 3 feet away from the fire. It's not too hot right there to catch the straps on fire. Or melt anything. Or melt that, mess up that insulation. So at 3 a.m. it's going to be nice and Good morning. The time is 10.57. I've been up since about 4.30. It was really cold. I got up over here in the middle of the night um, and had to start a fire. It's chilly. I didn't, I didn't bring the right sleeping gear. So what do you do, you know? Fucking get up and start your fire so you don't freeze and get hypothermia. I killed a blue jay this morning because I was really hungry. I worked up in Attitite all night shivering. So uh, I shot him. Made a stew and ate the son of a bitch. And here's the fucking feathers. That's all that's left. Didn't make a video. Sorry. Um, I was just too hungry. And I got enough MREs for a few more days. I get one MRE a day. And that should actually help me lose a little bit of weight while I'm out here. And also been doing some bushcraft. Decided not to work today. You know, besides potential survival. It's hard to pick when to film and when not because I'm so busy surviving. So yeah, it's a lot of work it takes a lot of work to do well out here. And uh, I'm making my trail but I'm not doing that today. Maybe a little. 
mission. I'm about to take a nap, actually, and just relax and curl up with, actually, my book. <laughs> I'm reading about fire. Fire, very important right now. Gotta learn better how to make fire. So there's some useful tips and tricks in there I'm going to try to re-memorize. I know I'm pretty good with building a log cabin and getting it going that way. I am putting all the tinder in the middle and lighting it from the bottom. Maybe some paper tissue or just using my flint and steel. Well, that's all for now. Happy feathers. Oh, yes, I'm an equal opportunity predator. Hello again. Um, today's been a good day. Hunger's been stalking me. It's like gnawing right here. I'm not used to this. Normally, I'm used to getting fat. Nope, not down here. Kind of why I came out here. But besides, besides the point right now, um, I had a blue jay and rice. I couldn't eat it all for some reason. Too rich. So, I'm going to use that to try to catch me something with my Conibear 110. And hopefully that'll be yummy. Hoping for raccoon. And um, my main priority right now is I have to find, well, wood for tonight. It's going to be like sleeping in a damned refrigerator when it gets around 3 or 4. And even around 1, I'm going to have to cover up. Now, um, don't get this misunderstood. This can kill you. Period. At 4.30, I'll probably have to get up and make a fire again. So I've, what I've done is I've gone ahead and gotten, like, I slept from 10 o'clock. Uh, no, no, it wasn't 10. It was 12 to 3, so I got 3 more hours extra sleep. And tonight I'm going to have another MRE so that that cold that keeps stalking me, trying to kill me, it's going to have a bit harder of a time. Digestion warms up the body. That's all for now. I'm also going to grab everything I got and put it on. Because I'm sick and tired of being fucking cold. Fucking cold. Alright then. Bye bye. I'm just showing you uh, the Conibear 110s that I have set. And a little bit of the view. There's another one right there. This right here. That is a vegetarian one. This with the feathers. It's what I ate for breakfast this morning. Leftovers. In that hole. Coon sticks his hand down in there. I'm gonna get Coon tomorrow. <laughs> and this is my sandbar on the creek. And walk along. That's where I put my solar panel over there charge during the day here's the sun going down over there I'm gonna be happy to see him in the morning there's a log also make a nice little shelter if you had to sleep right against that log I would prefer the hammock Yes, the hammock provides shelter above the ground from the fucking coyotes. Which I've heard all night singing last night. And if I catch one of them too, well, I'll be set for meat. And there's my refrigerator right there. I do say it's a nice refrigerator. Mm-hmm. Set the tripod up right here. The camera does not capture just how steep that is. That is at least a 45 degree angle. Just, no kidding. And that is why I had to put some stairs in there. This right there is about 10 feet until it gets really steep and that top is the steepest. And my campsite is up there. You can just barely see it through the trees. I prefer low key. And I got these markers out here in case search and rescue needs to find me for some reason. People have a bad habit of coming to look for me when I'm not in danger. Although I could be, if it gets really cold, I might, I'm i gonna have to set up tonight by the fire real cozy like. Yeah. Thank God I put that rock there. See how steep that fucker is? Okay. Damn. That gets your work out. 
All right. I have gotten this campsite set up pretty much. If I had a sleeping bag, I wouldn't have to do a lot of this shit. But there it is. The gear tree in the corner. I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Plinky. My Gurkha Kukri, cold steel. It's actually in the hammock. Guess I'll show you that real quick. I also brought a couch. I like my couch. See what brand it is. Alps Mountaineering. Guess Dream Foam is the short version. You don't need a long one. Too heavy. On with the tour. Up in here is the U.S. Army Gore-Tex Vivi bag. A real lifesaver. This thing's been keeping me alive lately. Thank God I have it. It's an emergency blanket. Real lifesaver. Can't say enough. Five out of five for stars. Reflects all that radiation that your body tries to dish out in the empty space. Where's it going to go? Empty space. Not you. Got my Gurkha Kukri sewn in at the top. Once again, I hate code. He's also got a lighter taped in there with some Gorilla Tape. My kit that I saw on there earlier fell off, so... Yeah. Cold steel knife. That is my waterproof field bag and SAS manual, which I've been studying fire to make sure I knew absolutely everything. And what I came up with was this for tonight. I'm going to be lighting that about 4.30 in the morning. If it gets too cold to sleep, no sits laying in bed and rolling around. I can sort of light that and then get probably about another extra 30 minutes of sleep just laying on my couch or in the hammock It's because it's a little bit closer. It used to be right there, but I moved it right here. And there used to be a huge pile of wood that's no longer there. For two days, it's all gone. So take you over here, and you might say, wow, this area looks really clear. Nah, shit, I cleared it my damn self. There's my wood pile, it's my little stash. And this is what the camp looks like from this angle. You see my whole setup? Right there. I'm thinking about actually sewing in the poncho liner. See, yeah, it's got this little connectors I see what sewed on here. To sew it on right here and to actually inside the hammock just put some on the opposite sides and that kind of I can actually lay in on the poncho because as you can see it's not quite as efficient as I need it to be because I'm getting really cold at night and I actually have a little bit of a headache let me start to get a little something that's okay I've got MREs and a gun and there's plenty of blue jays left so I shot that one I saw 10 of them and said hey they're not gonna miss one well, actually, they will, but I'm I'm not missing it because it was delicious with a little a little pepper. Yummy. I already showed you my trail that leads off that way. Actually goes over there. I don't know if you can see that little marker. Yeah, over there, that little piece of orange right here. Okay. Well, that's all for now. Mr. Sun is going down. Say hello bye to Mr. Plinky. And I got my sun shower, so hopefully I can wash off tonight. Well, then I'm going to wash off in the creek, because no sense in wetting up my campsite right before I'm about to go to bed. Just jump in, jump out. I got that big towel right there. There's my hat. I like my hat. Mr. Sunshade. Mm-hmm. Another useful tip is make friends when you don't have any. I mean, seriously. Who wants to be out here all by themselves? I could talk to my gun for hours about how safe it's keeping me and how much I appreciate it being here, and it just makes me feel better. And plus, I'm fucking hungry, and it's easy. And I'm thirsty. I need to get some water. All right, I'm done. Bye. Hello. The time right now is, you can see it, 5.30 a.m. I'm up because it's fucking cold. I've got on two pairs. The nylon clothes, there's one layer, there's two, two pairs of, of uh, camo, long pants, three pairs of socks, pair of gloves, and it's still cold. Also, I have my watch cap.
little black thing that I'm wearing. Okay, well, I'm up and I didn't want to be. And sunrise should be in less than an hour and a half. Yay! I love the sun today. That big evil thing that rises in the sky, as my brother says. But it's my friend now. Good morning. Today's plan is I'm going to break my rule about rationing and eat this MRE. And that's going to give me a good burst of energy to hack a trail from here. Well, finish putting my trail in all the way to the road, which is about half a mile from here, hopefully. And to do it, I'm going to use my cold steel Gurkha Kukri high carbon steel. Which is still amazingly sharp, but dull at the same time. Wonderful. Okay, wish me luck. It's also just sunrise. It is 6.45. Alright, um... <clears throat> I'm dehydrated. My lips are all rubbery. You can see, and you can see that little phlegm that builds up when you're dehydrated. And um, I don't know what those MREs have in them, but it gave me one hell of an energy boost. Let me tell you, I hacked through half a mile of brush, and uh, I started a little after the last time we spoke. I don't remember when that was, but right now it's 10:18 a.m. And I've got a trail that leads all the way and connects to another hunting trail and that connects to the road. So, this knife right here, let me tell you, it's like, Sugar Mary says, Woo, buddy! Yeah, yeah! Mmm, mmm. Still pretty good, it's still going. Got a couple of nicks here and there. I'll smooth those out with a stone. Day four, um, I'm gonna go get some water out of the natural spring and drink it straight up. Let me show you. Okay, this is how you know I'm kind of desperate and thirsty. I didn't have time to filter the water. I'm feeling really lightheaded and dizzy. So I'm going to get it straight from here and fill it up. This water's coming right out of the ground. Should be nice and clean. Should be. Well, life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm fucking crazy right now. Mm. A little minerally. Not not general with that. Tastes kinda like minerals. Mm-hmm. That's one canteen. Think I can sip on this one now. No. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, good. Water. Just how you like it. Alright, it's been uh, just a few minutes now. And, boy, that lightheadedness, you know, it goes as quick as it comes. And, uh, still got that mingering. Actually, it's going away right now. Yeah, water really works. Get some. Highly recommend. Andrew gives this review five stars full of water for water. H2O, body good. And that's natural spring water, too. I guess you can't beat that. Sell that shit in a restaurant for real expensive. But, yeah, I mean, seriously, back there, I got lost on my own trail that I had made. I was so dehydrated. So what I ended up doing is I just sat down and took it real slow. and I just looked. You know, I asked myself, I took a few paces back after that and looked again. And, you know, I tracked myself right there because it's such a thin, thick trail back there. I'm going to show you later when I go back there to put the markers down. That there's not much you can do besides just pay the fuck attention. I guess that's what it all is, though. What the fuck was that? Um, uh, something over there caused some trouble. I usually keep my parang on me, but, you know, I was really fucking thirsty. Oh, I guess I can start complaining now and get back to camping. Mm-hmm. This is my campsite. It's at 3042.12.47 north, 8738.00.25 west. Elevation is 52 feet. And it'll zoom out. Let's see what we got. There's nothing really for 12 miles in any real direction, which is pretty cool, in fact. Alright, it's been uh, 
24 hours since I got back, what happened was and was actually worried about me because I was unable to call since so my cell phone battery died the first part of the trip, so I didn't have a cell phone. It always seems to happen to me, nobody else. And what I learned was to trust in your tools, not to have, not your cell phone, but trust in in steel. In steel, I mean trust in your firearms, trust in your knives, chichi spring. And hey, by the way, this knife was in Resident Evil Extinction, but I mean it really is a great thing to bring with you. And just really to and do what you need to get done. Don't don't slack in a situation like that because you can die. When I didn't have the right sleeping gear, I had to get up and make a fire. And you do what I do, you have to do the same thing. Next time I'm going to take a sleeping bag, be more prepared. Make a note in my manual, the SAS manual, about what the temperature was and what I need to bring up. Actually, I'm a little cold right now. It was a good trip. It was a real kick in the ass. Winter's coming. And I, I'm running from it, and you know, I can't take the easy road. It is also a lesson to try to take the camera with me more, try to do a little bit more recording. And yes, the solar charger comes in handy, and I can't get an adapter to charge my cell phone. So, since I usually carry it with me, except when I don't have it, like when I'm a real trip where I had to rescue myself, then this time it was easy. Um, it was really easy. I didn't have to hike out like last time and get my own secure motor suit. But when it was about to get dark, me and we walked through the creek back because the trail was it's too narrow for my backpack. It's a one man trail and you can only fit the man, not the backpack. So it's just the way it goes. I also had this really cool thing I wanted to show you about the trail. I had put a, it goes straight, right? And the side there's some bushes. And if you're walking down there trying to find my camp, you'll follow this, this trail and it goes down to where a natural spring comes out of the ground. You think, oh cool, that's where the trail goes. No. The trail comes off the side and there's some bushes and I took all the vines and stuff out of the bushes so I can walk right through them. And that's where the trail is. The trail goes off to the campsite. So it's impossible to find my campsite unless you are, well, I hate to say it, survivalist and a good tracker and know what you're doing, or if you have been there before. So there's only two ways you're going to be able to find my campsite, even though I'm showing you where it is. So good luck. You should look down there. It's pretty, it's beautiful, and it's dangerous. So, yes, you will find coyotes coming into your camp. You'll be salt. You will find snakes, you will find wild hogs, and you will see deer. I've seen it. I saw deer, turkey, squirrels, birds, and you never see a coyote, and if you do, you really don't want to see them, so you shoot them dead. It's the only way. Because they'll try to eat you. They look at you like the way you look at a taco. And that's just all I have to say about that. I think I'm done here today. Get to River 1022. The scope is too big. They sent me the wrong one on Amazon. So they're going to send me a smaller one. Come up to about right here. But it does look cool. Why?